The 36th State House of Assembly Speakers has called on President Mohamed Buhari to declare bandits as terrorists and enemies of the nation. This was their resolution at a conference of speakers of state houses of assembly in Castina State yesterday. The call of the conference of speakers is coming a day after Castina Governor Aminu Belo Masari reiterated the earlier call of his Kaduna counterpart Nasi Erufai and National Assembly for the federal government to declare a state of emergency on the nation's security and declare bandits as terrorists. Chairman of the conference, who is also Bauchi State Speaker, Abu Bakr Suleiman, while making the call at the end of their third yearly meeting, said it was part of their five-point communique at the end of the, their eight-hour deliberations. He said, We call on President Buhari to declare bandits as terrorists and enemies of the state. The conference has observed all the activities carried out by the bandits as containing this, the same mode of operations used by terrorists. The conference also decried the state of insecurity in the conference and resolved to work out legislative frameworks to complement the efforts of the federal government to address the security challenges in the country. In addition, the conference also resolved to make appropriate laws to address the fundamental issues that breed insecurity in the land, as well as create employment for the youth and curb the menace of insecurity in the country. The Speaker's Conference further condemned governors who gave their assent to the fund management bills passed by their respective state assemblies and called on those yet to do so to expedite action on the bill for effective implementation of financial autonomy for the state legislatures and judiciary. The host Governor Masari had on Saturday added his voice to the growing call of for bandits to be labored terrorists. Castina is one of the epic centers in the nation's northwest where banditry and other criminal activities reign supreme, leaving many citizens traumatized. Speaking at the opening of the meeting, Masari said that the security agencies were doing their best at tackling the state of insecurity nationwide, but the federal government ought to adopt more measures towards resolving the problem. The governor identified the 1,975 local government reforms as a fundamental factor in gendering current security issues in the nation and also urged participants at the conference to adopt certain measures being implemented by Castina to check the state of insecurity. The Castina state government decided to review the system and bring on board the traditional institutions and other relevant stakeholders to participate directly in security decisions and management. We review the state local government law and we have created three tier security committees across the 34 local government areas to provide security agencies with useful information and assist effective policing and ensure arrest of offenders and hand them over to the appropriate authorities. We also adopt the security containment order, which is another milestone achievement recorded in the security subsector, as well as community conflict resolution centers across the state for civil and non-criminal cases to reduce congestion in courts. The district head of Bastery, Sakin Roman Castina and Castina State to call Ma Azu Roman had said bandits fleeing the onslaught in neighboring Zamfara and Kajuna states are infiltrating and taking over farming communities in the Bastri local council of Castina. According to him, the current onslaught is causing hardship and starvation for the bandits in neighboring states, forcing them to ransack communities with his chiefdom to seize foodstuff and other valuables belonging to innocent residents of the area. Speaking with journalists at his palace, he said, many farmers in the local government were not harvesting their crops due to the activities of the bandits, and in some areas, the bandits are the ones doing the harvest instead. He said the bandits displaced by security agencies in Zamfara State had formed different enclaves in communities bordering Runka Forest and other adjoining forests in the area from where they come out daily to attack innocent citizens at night, especially along batsari Jibia Road. Meanwhile, Sokoto State Governor Aminu Waziri Tambua 
has appealed to the federal government to restore telecom services in areas experiencing banditry in the state. Tambua made the call at the weekend while receiving the governors of Bornu and Gombe states, Babagan Azulom and Mohamed Yaya, who represented governors of the Northeast Geopolitical Zone in a condolence visit to the state over the recent market attacks by bandits that left more than 40 people dead. Tambua said the decision was taken at the enlarged security meeting in the state. The call for the resigning of the blockade became necessary in view of concerns expressed by security outfits in the state that the outage was affecting the smooth conduct of their works. We've already forwarded a letter to the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy to review the telecoms, the telecoms blockade, he said. This is as reports emerged that bandits in Zamfara State were evading the telecommunications blockout in many parts of the state to reach out to their families of two graduates adopted en route to the National Youth Service Corp NYC orientation camp in Kirby State. Also, the Christian Association of Nigeria Khan Youth Wing has declared that Nigeria is sliding into anarchy because of alleged poor management of the nation's security system by the federal government. Yowi Khan Chairman Bel So Chuku Ewere said, said this yesterday in a statement condemning the killing of three monarchs in Imo State, attacks at the Gonro Market in Sokoto State, and the reported bombing of the Kaduna Abuja railway track last week by bandits. According to him, the federal government can find a political solution to insecurity in the country. He said, We condemn in totality the increasing insecurity in the land. This is not acceptable to Nigerians, no matter the tribe, religion, and ethnicity. Where are our leaders? Nigeria is sliding into anarchy, where religion, ethnicism, killings, and security are spreading like wildfire. Christian and Muslim youths across the country, and indeed Nigerians should pray hard against killers before we are all consumed. This is unacceptable and condemnable. The government at all levels, traditional rulers, religious men and women, youth, and all at sundry should begin henceforth to preach and practice peace. The Archbishop of Kaduna Anglican Church Diocese, Right Reverend Timothy Yaya, has called on Buhari to unite Nigerians and avoid anything that may cause division among citizens. Yaya reminded the president of the oath he took when he assumed office and his promise to live by it, while urging him to resolve all ethnic and religious diversity tearing the country apart. The bishop cited the current agitation for succession as product of injustice inherent in the country, saying it was unfortunate that Nigeria now pay more allegiance to their ethnic and religious entities instead of seeing themselves as full-fledged Nigerians devoid of primordial background. According to the cleric who spoke with newsmen yesterday, the ethnic division in Nigeria has almost torn the nation apart and gradually destroyed the basis of unity among citizens. Yaya said, if in Igbo land today, the people are given Biafra rights in Igbo land. I know when you go to Imo, the Okigwe man will want to be leader. Same for all man. So when you give Biafra, it won't end the agitation. If we have a problem, let's acknowledge that we have a problem and solve it. I have cited the problem of marginalization, oppression, segregation, and problems of religious differences as realities haunting the nation. Buara has been told again, the 36 state uh, speakers, they, they've told President Muhammad Buhari to declare bandits as terrorists. He needs to, if he can declare Biaf, uh, IPOB, the indigenous people of Biafra, as terrorists, which, which of these groups are worse? Bandits, they've been killing, attacking. They even go to the extent of uh, um, harvesting the crops of, for farmers. Farmers can't go to their farm anymore because of fear of um, the loss of their lives. Buhari has been told to declare these people as bandits. And now it will prove if, if he cannot declare them terrorists, he's one of them. That is just the, the plain truth. There is nothing stopping him from declaring them as terrorists. Well, guys, leave us your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.